Hey Larry, he lives in the library. He's got a lot of adventures to share with you. Hey Larry, he's got some friends in the library. Emmy Lou Nickinson and Mr. Chompers too. They're gonna read a lot of books and have some fun. It's library Larry's big day. Good morning, everyone. John! You're here early today. That's right, Larry. I've got a special surprise for you all today. Oh! I want to be surprised. Well, I've got something to show you in the program room. I think you'll really like it. Ooh, are we going to a story time, Chuck? Well, something like that. Come on, follow me. Welcome to Big Game Day. And now, here's the host of Big Game Day, Chuck Bollinger. Hi, I'm Chuck Bollinger. It's Big Game Day! Hey, I know him! This is a big game, and this is a big day. So let's get started. The categories for our first round are... Count on it! Blue Joker's Wild Monkey Puppets Puppet Rolls And Larry Looks We drew the names out of an old straw hat backstage and Emmy Lou goes first. Pick a category. Okay, I think I know how this works. I'll take count on it for 100. Okay, I'll give you the answer and you give me the question. Here we go. These things fall from trees in the fall of the year. Emmy Lou? What are leaves? Okay, let's watch for the answer. Do you want to help me count some leaves? Great, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Great, counting. Now it's time for these leaves to leave. It was leaves, Emmy Lou. You get to go again. I'll take count on it for 200. This machine flies through the skies. Emmy Lou? What is an airplane? Okay, let's watch and find out. How many airplanes do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three airplanes. That's awesome. Let's take off. <laughs> you were right. Go again, Emmy Lou. Wow, okay. I think I'll take blue for 100. This is Chuck's favorite color. Larry? Blue! Oh, I'm sorry, you have to phrase it in the form of a question. Oh. Chompers? What is blue? Let's watch for the answer. I like the blue. I like the blue. I'm here to tell you the news. I like the blue. That's right. Now Mr. Chompers is on the board. But what is blue? Uh, blue is a color, Mr. Chompers. It looks like this. Yay! More blue. OK blue for $200. This is a color that people associate with sadness. Larry? What is blue? Let's watch. I got the blues cause I can't rhyme Even though I try it all the time Stay long I got the blues From my head down to my I want my words to sound the same, but they never come out right. Even though I try to rhyme, 
Every day and night, evening. Oh. You know I feel so bad. I got these rhyming blues and I feel so down and sad, unhappy. Oh. Sure, hope you lose those blues. That's right. That man is very sad and blue. Now, Larry, you're on the board. Go again. I'll take puppet rolls for 100. Ooh, that's our daily double dip. We'll roll two film clips and then ask you a question. Roll them. That's a lot of water. Oh, ah! I'm okay. Wow, Mr. Chompers. You should really be more careful. Hey, Casey. Hey, Casey. Hey, Casey. Ah! I'm okay. You should try to be a little more careful, Mr. Chompers. Okay, Larry, the answer is this. This is what Mr. Chompers should not be allowed to do. What is roll around on anything? That's correct. Go again. I'll take monkey puppets for 100. This puppet delivers the mail on Library Larry's big day. Emmy Lou. Who is mail monkey? Let's watch. And remember, you can put your mail in any one of the handy Mr. Chomper's mailboxes that looks like this. Thanks, mail monkey. At any one of the Denton Library locations. You can put your mail in any one of the handy Mr. Chomper's mailboxes that look like this. Thanks, mail monkey. At any of the Denton Public Library locations. Or you can put your mail into any one of the handy Mr. Chomper's mailboxes that looks like this. At any one of the Denton Public Library locations. That's correct, Emmy Lou. It was Mail Monkey. Pick again. I'll take Joker's Wild for 100. According to a very bad joke on Library Larry's Big Day, this is what radios use to say goodbye. Mr. Chompers. When do I get to spin the wheel? Uh, that's a different game show, Mr. Chompers. Larry. What are antennas? Let's watch for the answer. Do you know how radios say goodbye? How? With radio waves. The answer is radio waves. Radio waves. I wanted to spin the wheel. Well, Mr. Choppers, there's no wheel to spin. But now it's time for Double Big Day. First, let's get to know our contestants. Larry, it says here that you're a Texas bull. That's right. And I live in the library. And I love to go on fun adventures with my friends. That's great, Larry. Now, Mr. Chompers, I understand you and Larry know each other? Oh, yeah. We both live in the library. You're Chuck. And you drive us around in your car. Yay! Okay, and Emmy Lou, tell us about yourself. My name is Emmy Lou Dickinson, and I was born on a small farm in East Texas. I moved here to Denton when I was just a little piglet. My favorite things to do are to read and write and listen to classical music. Oh, and I live in the library too! Well, best of luck to you all. The categories for this next round are Mr. Chuck, Chicken Chicken, Extra Puppets, Chomper says, big mystery, and let's review. Okay, Emmy Lou, pick a category. I'll take big mystery for 200. This was the mystery word on Library Larry's Big Day for episode number 34, which featured... What is restoration? Whoa, wow, Emmy Lou, you got that one very quickly. I just love the mystery words. They're so mysterious. Well, 
Once you know what they mean, Emmy Lou, they don't have to be a mystery anymore. Let's see if you're right. This is Emmy Lou Dickinson, puppet on the street, asking people about today's mystery word, restoration. Can you use the word restoration in a sentence? Sure, the restoration says move. I don't think that's quite right. Can you try again? Oh yeah, the cow says moo, the restoration says quack quack. No, that's a duck, silly. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember. The rest restoration is when they take something old and make it look new again. That's exactly right, thank you very much. You're welcome, Emmy Lou. You're right, Emmy Lou. It was restoration. Go again. Let's review for 200. This was the year the Denton Record Chronicle was first published. Mr. Chompers. 60, 12, 80. Well, let's watch and find out. The Denton Record Chronicle was first published 110 years ago on August 3rd, 1903. The paper is read by over 300,000 people every week. The answer is 1903. 1903. Emmy Lou, you're still in control of the board. Pick again. Let's review for 400. This is the shape of the office of the President of the United States. Larry, what is an oval? Let's watch and find out. Now here's a room I know you'll like. This is a full-size replica of the Oval Office, which is the President's office in the White House. This is exactly how it looked during President Bush's administration. You're right, Larry. The answer is Oval. Pick again. I'll take Let's Review for 600. This is what the term WASP means at the TWU Library. Mr. Chompers. We don't have any WASPs in our library. Sometimes a fly might get in, but not any WASPs. Let's just watch for the answer. WASP stands for Women Air Force Service Pilots, who flew planes during World War II. This library has over a million pieces of paper and over 25,000 photographs related to the collection. We also have artifacts like photographs, insignia, flight manuals, and even a uniform that you can see. Okay, Larry, it's still your turn. I'll take Mr. Chuck for 200. This is Chuck's favorite shape. Mr. Chompers. I know Chuck. He likes cars and guitars. Well, I do like those things, Mr. Chompers. Let's look at the answer. I like the shape of the moon so high, of the sun in the sky, of a big beach ball, of the clock on the wall. Can you guess what I like? That's right, I like circles. The answer is circles. Circles. Larry, pick again. I'll take chicken, chicken for 200. This is the cure for Casey's ills on episode 33. Emmy Lou. What are chicken drops? Let's watch. Doctor, what is it? Is it serious? I'm afraid we'll have to call in our very best specialist. Oh, chicken specialist, what is it? You have a severe inflammation of the anterior chicken gland. There's only one cure for it. What? Only one cure? What is it? Chicken drops! Come on, come on, come on. Good work, Emmy Lou. Go again. I'll take Chomper Says for 200. This is what Mr. Chompers thought Larry had in his ear recently. Emmy Lou. What is a rake? Let's watch and find out. Ow. Ow. Oh, Larry, 
Are you okay? I don't know. It really hurts. What hurts, Larry? I have an earache. How did you get a rake in your ear, Larry? No, Mr. Chompers. Larry's ear is aching or hurting, and so he has an earache. It was a rake. Good work, Emmy Lou. Now it's time for final puppetry. Here's the category, out of this world. The answer is, this is the first thing the puppet reporter saw in the sky when reporting on a UFO in episode number 39. Place your wagers now. Okay, let's watch for our answer. We have reports of an unidentified flying object. A UFO. Let's go to the video. That's not a UFO. That's just an airplane. What? Okay. Let's see what you have, Larry. Hmm, it looks like you drew a picture of a helicopter. Well, I'm afraid that's not right. And you wagered everything which brings you to zero. Now to Emmy Lou. You wrote, what is a bird? I'm afraid that's not correct either. And you wagered everything. Okay, Mr. Chompers, what did you get? You didn't write anything. Which means you didn't wager anything. <gasps> Mr. Chompers, you win a hundred dollars. Yay! I win! I win! Mr. Chompers, Mr. Chompers, Yay! Mr. I win! Chompers, I win! Mr. Chompers, Mr. Chompers, Mr. Chompers, I win! Chompers, Mr. Chompers, wake up! Did I win the game? You must have been dreaming about something, Mr. Chompers. I hope it was a good dream. Yeah, it was a really good dream, Larry. Well, are you ready for another big day of fun and adventure with your friends? Chompers is ready. Let's go. Yeah.